Okay, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good and you? Sounds like I teach and really good. Okay, that's great. Okay, so we have. Anoche se han conseguido. Okay, good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hasta el Tiene que hacer buzo. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, let's see. We almost have how many people? 19 people. This is the screen we need. Okay, so remember from last night what we were doing. Okay, we came to. Okay, this, they say by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions, right? So for today, we have a vocabulary, a vocabulary session to speak about different uh, events and probably some activities, right? That we can do while we are uh, celebrating okay, those events. Now, here we have Special occasions. And let's get it started. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Now it's time to put this eat special food. Okay, so what we need is this chart. It says word power, special occasions, listen and practice, then check the things you do for each occasional, a uh, special occasion. Uh, for example, we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. So we have five, yes, five um, special occasions. And then we have uh, this playlist here. Well, that says send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs dance, uh, eat cake, have a party, uh, have a picnic, and eat a special food. Now, 
for Mother's Day, for example, what are the, let's say the actions that we can do from the list on the left? Do we send cards to, uh, to mother, I mean, to mothers nowadays? Think about today, right? Think about these days. Do we send cards? To our mothers, uh, for example, teacher, mm -hmm. I give I give her uh, present. Okay, no cards. No cards. No cards. Okay, present. No cards. Okay, good. So then, nowadays, probably it's not very common, right? It's not Some very cards. common. But before, uh, let's say I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, send cards, it was very nice. It was a nice detail. Okay, but uh, let's see. Who sends cards nowadays? Uh, for graduation. Okay, still? Mm -hmm. Who sends cards? Only you? Who? Who sends cards? Can it be a card? Tarjeta, still. The couples for weddings. For weddings, okay. No, but those are invitation cards, invites. No. Well, it's a card, no. Uh, no, but I mean cards to, for celebrate, I mean for, uh, how do you call this? Um, for example, uh, for teacher. A few, for a birthday. To congratulate, to congratulate. Okay. People. Mm -hmm. For okay. example. For a graduation, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, Miriam? Okay, I'm sorry. For example, uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine? Okay, Valentine's yeah. Day. People still send them? I don't know, I'm, ask, I'm asking because I don't. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I don't use cards, but I don't know if somebody else does it. No? Probably, probably now people send uh, electronic cards through WhatsApp, right? Probably in WhatsApp, they send some cards for the mother, for the father, for the graduation, for the weddings or anniversaries. Okay, but then there are some others, you know, like the invites for inviting people then uh, to a party, right? For a graduation, especially or for a wedding. You receive um, invitation card with the details. Okay, give presents. Okay, for mothers, fathers, graduation, wedding, and anniversary, right? And what about take pictures? Do we take graduation? Uh -huh, graduation mostly, right? I mean, mothers, uh -huh, wedding, yes. Okay, these are more formal pictures, right? For graduation and wedding, yes. And sing songs? What about singing? Sing songs. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, yes. Now there is a serenata, right? Or something like that, I would say, or you play music. Anniversary. Anniversary too, yes. Some, sometimes in uh, Father's Day too. A birthday, yes, for birthdays, we sing songs. Birthdays is not here, but yes, it's birthdays too. Dance? Wedding. At a wedding, okay, we dance, we dance at a wedding. Mm -hmm. Graduation. Graduation as well, a graduation party, we also. Uh, anniversary. Anniversary, yes, if there is a nice party. Maybe, maybe Mother's Day. Maybe Mother's Day depends. If you have a, a party, right, with a lot of people, probably you dance. But if it is only a small family reunion, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Okay. What else? And what about eat cake? For the Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. And and birthdays, wedding, father's day, cakes are 
graduations, yes, anniversaries, right? So the cakes is something, I mean, it's popular, right? So we use it in all the kinds of celebration. That's, it's also good. What else? Uh, have a party? Celebration and wedding. Graduation. Anniversary. Yes, right. Graduation, wedding, anniversary. Okay, Father's and Mother's Day is a more family party, right? And the other graduation is a big party sometimes. Okay, good. And have a picnic. Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day, yes. Also, anniversary. Anniversary, yeah. It could be a picnic if it is only two people. Okay, the husband and the wife. Sounds very romantic too. It's good. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. What is the picnic? Picnic is uh, when you go probably to a park, to an open area, and then you have an informal, informal uh, meal, right? No sandwiches mm -hmm. and food like that. So that is a picnic. Mm -hmm. Out, outdoors, okay? Not in a restaurant, not in a house, you know, in the open area, parks, usually parks. Okay, that is a picnic. And eat a special food. In which the graduation and wedding. Okay. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Anniversary. Anniversary. Okay. Wedding. Mother's Day. All right. Good. What are other uh, things that we do for Mother's Day? We give presents, sing songs, eat cake, and eat a special food. What else? What else happens not that day? What are other nice things that we do? Sending flowers. Okay, very good. We send flowers. Excellent. Yes. No, we send flowers. Uh huh. What else? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Practice vocabulary. Okay. Mother's Day. Go out to a special place. Okay. Go out. You know, we take her out to a special place, a special restaurant, a special uh, park. I don't know. A special place. Yes. What else? Probably. Uh... And, and go out a uh, sala de belleza teacher. Okay, to a salon, yes. And not salon, paper, yes. Not paper to a salon before, right, to celebrate. Yes, to prepare, you know, the, the mother for the celebration. Okay, good. What else? Uh, the shopping. Okay, yes, we can, you know, that's a good one. You know, to take her shopping, you know, that's a good one. Then go shopping with her, and then, okay, then you tell her, okay, choose what you want. Wear special clothes. Okay, what else? No, it's time, sorry, sorry. This click on play. Have a party. What else? One more. Cook for she. Okay, cook for her. Yes, you know, you cook, you make a special food for her. Yeah. Sounds, you know, sounds like a good, good, good idea. Okay, um, then we have the Father's Day. Now we can do similar things, similar, not all of them. And what about weddings? For weddings, we give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, and eat the special food. Okay, almost all of them. What else? Teacher, in weddings, uh, usually, uh, usually in a, and the, ¿Cómo se dice actual en la actualidad, teacher? Now, nowadays, nowadays. Ah, nowadays. Uh, uh, give a... Envelope. Uh -huh, envelope. yes. Envelope with money. Money, yes, money teacher. Money envelope, yes. Money envelope, yes. You put the money in the envelope and that is a gift. Okay, good. What else? Well, you know, they have, uh, you know, the best men, the best woman is the people that they choose. For example, the godfather is the, well, depending on the, depending on the religion, right? Catholic people, they have, a, for example, a person 
when you are married and you have children, the godfather uh, is like a second father for your son. Okay, you take him to the church for the baptism. Mm -hmm. Yes, then you have a godfather. Then in the weddings, in the weddings they also have something similar to the godfather, but they don't call it the godfather. They call it the best man. Okay, the best man is, for example, sometimes you say um, the best man for for the dress. Okay, the best man for the dress is the friend of the lady that pays for the dress. Okay, and then they have uh, best men for probably, I don't know, for the food of the party. Okay, so then the best men say there are, there is a group of friends that they pay for different things. Okay, and those are like the presents, the presents for them. Okay, so these are, you know, other traditions that people have, you know, in weddings, right? Like you say, they sometimes they give money in the envelope. Other people pay for the dress of the of the of the bride. The bride is the woman when she's going to get married. Other people pay for the food of the party. Uh, other people pay for the, the tickets, the airplane tickets for the honeymoon and like that. Okay, so different uh, let's say different uh, events. Okay, with different activities too. So this one is just to check and practice the vocabulary, right? Any questions about this vocabulary, people? No? Okay, let me check here. Then in this one it says, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Okay, this is, uh, for example, how people celebrate the birthday in different countries. They have different traditions. Okay, here we usually have a family reunion. If it is uh, for children, there is a piñata, right? And then there is uh, uh, candies and a lot of uh, cake, probably some pizza, hamburgers and stuff. But in other countries, they have other traditions. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, pronunciation de, for example, be, be, for example, by and um, of this class, you will the verb. Esa palabra. A birthday. Uh, I don't uh, know. This is develop. Develop. Skill. Okay. Develop. Uh -huh. You will develop. Uh, develop. Uh, develop skills. Yes. By the end of this class, you will develop develop skills in scanning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Develop. You will develop a skill. In a scan. Good. Now here, after we're gonna see the 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 article in in the reading. Okay, here's the video. Okay, what is a scanning? What is a scanning? Detection. Detection, uh, uh, yes, something like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. For example, when we had developed skills in scanning and reading for details by reading, remember that um, these are reading abilities or reading skills. We use them to to read faster. Okay. For example, uh, what do you do when you have an exam? Suppose they have a reading exam. In examen de lectura, right? The paper, the, the reading is probably, I don't know, uh, two pages, two pages to read, two pages. And you have to answer 20 questions. And you have only 30 minutes. Okay. 
then what do you do? What is your strategy? What is what a skill do you use? What do you use? Uh, for scanning. example, scanning. Mm -hmm. but, scanning to find a uh, specific information. And how do you do it, uh, Evelyn? Uh, you do a quick reading about the text. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually you, 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 uh, you, se me olvidó como decir buscar. Look you for, find, you scan. You, you, scan, scan, you scan a word about the question mm -hmm. to, to answer. Okay, good. Happy. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. That's exactly, that's a scanning. The scan is look for, okay? So what we do in that moment is that we read the question. Okay, for example, the question is, uh, when was, uh, let's say, when was uh, uh, George Washington born? Okay, then you say George Washington born. Then you don't have to read everything, right? Okay, but then you go to the text and then you look for that specific information. George Washington and born. Ah, okay, and then it says, oh, 19, 18, 1874. Okay, and then you look for that information and then you ask. Okay, so that is a reading skill, ability. And you don't have to read all that because if you read the two pages, probably will take you maybe. 10 minutes or five minutes, depending on how fast you read. Then after a re, I mean, answer the 20 questions, look for the questions and everything. So it's gonna take you more than 30 minutes to test. You won't have enough time. Okay, so you use the, the skill, the scanning. Scanning is look for a specific information. Search for a specific information, okay? A, if you do this in English, okay, you are going to do the same in Spanish, okay? Because if you learn this, and if you do this in Spanish, you can do it in English because this is an ability. And the abilities that you learn in English or in Spanish, you only transfer them from one language to the other. Okay, so if it is useful in English, after you can also use it in English, in Spanish, right? Okay. Now let's listen to the video. And after we are going to read the article. Um, here. And then here we have the sound. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. 
In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. So this is for the... Out to dinner. For the In France, right? when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay, but the exercises are on to the next one here. They have only one here. They have the second one. And then, for example, to celebrate their birthday playtime. Now we want to read it. Now we cannot make it larger. Can you read? Yes. Is it visible? Kind of, right? Okay, one volunteer. Who wants to read? A volunteer to Miriam. Me, teacher. Miriam, okay, yes, like Miriam, Miriam said before, and then you read the next one, okay? Okay, Miriam, go hey, ahead. Teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My training first. My training, my training first birthday is on Saturday, and I am going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, good. So that's a tradition, right? Oh, poor Elena. That's, yeah, poor Elena. That you know, like a donkey, you know, with very long ears. Uh, yes, Evelyn? You have a question, Evelyn? No, 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 no. Okay, no problem. Okay, any questions about vocabulary? No problem with this vocabulary in this... Uh, about Elena Buenaventura? Is it clear? Yes. Teacher. Uh -huh. Emma. No. What is the meaning of the sentence? They're going to pull on mm -hmm. my ear 21 times. Okay. Remember yesterday we were talking about going to, right? I'm going to, for example, a, for your birthday, I'm going to give you a present. In your birthday, uh, your family, they are going to say they are going to give you a cake. They are going to sing a song for you. And in this case, for Elena, they are going to pull, okay, to pull 21 times a year. One, two, three, four, five, six, say 21 times. In El Salvador, sometimes we throw people up and down, right? 21 times. How old are you? Say, I am four years old. Okay, I'll say one, two, three, four, and that's it. Okay, if I say I am 50, imagine, no, forget it. Okay, so then this is, uh, in this case, it's at 50 years old, you know, 50 times full your ear. Going to is, that's a plan. Okay, it's a plan and that is going to happen. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. So don't go to Spain, okay, not to Madrid. Celebrate your birthday in El Salvador better. What else? No more questions? Now look at this one. And it says, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false? True. 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 Okay, if you see, here we go. Okay, and then suppose the scanning. 21 times, okay, 21 times. We go to the reading, okay. Here going, okay, here. It's uh, an old custom, some people put on, my friend, traditional. Okay, here, 21. Okay, this is a scanning. I am not reading, okay? Okay, you identify they're going to pull on my ear 21 times. Then, you go back here. 
then you say, okay, it's true. Okay, you don't have to read. Example, this one. Jan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Jan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Now, we are not going to read. Go and look for the information and tell me if it is true or false. Okay, look for the information. I got it. Okay, yeah. true or false? False. Okay, this is true. This one. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. Okay. No, no, here. Okay, is he going to receive something red? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it's true. Yes. It's true. Okay, true. don't let it say where? Mm. So children often give something, something red. Okay, children often give something red as a present. That's correct. Then you scan, you don't read all this, you just, okay, here. Then the answer is? True. True. Okay. Four, Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? False. False? This is false. Okay, you remember you have a good memory. Why? Hurry up, hurry up. Sorry, this is taking a long time. It's breaking the, the dynamic. Okay. Oh, that's not. What did I have? Okay. Uh huh. Why do you say it's true or it's false? Oh. Mm -hmm. Why, why, why? It's true. True. They, Phil's friends, are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. They are going to take him out on his birthday. It's false because he is going to invite three very good friends. Exactly, Fernando. Thank you. Then he says, I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. Okay. So and he says, See, I know it's the opposite. People take you out, you know, in some countries, right? For example, in, in most of the countries, uh, we invite people. Okay. But in this case, he is. Thursday, he is going to invite friends. So, Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. It is false. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, and you see, this is how you apply. This is the strategy or the skill for scanning. Okay, looking for a specific information in the reading. These are, uh, in this one, uh, this is short, short reading, right? But sometimes the readings, okay, the lectures, the readings are longer, two, three, or four pages, right? So then uh, that's why you need to apply this uh, kind of a skill. Questions about going to? Because this at the end 
this is the end of, the, of section one. Now we're going to start section two. No questions about going through or vocabulary, plans? No questions, right. sir. Perfect. Okay, so the next one, the next topic. is what's the matter okay that's the general question right what's the matter uh, fernando could you please read the lesson objective here please okay by the end of this class you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body okay and look at this one and look at the question what's the matter what is this is another a uh, reading a strategy what do you think this section is about what do you think we are going to study in this in this section are we going to study about uh, sports about money what are we going to study By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. When do we use, uh -huh. somebody wants to, no. Okay, look. What about this one? Body parts. Okay, or part of the body. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, Leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, so here we have and expressing this uh, this vocabulary, right? So we have like four, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen, twenty, like twenty-four words. Okay, I'm sure that you probably know more okay than 20, uh, 24 words uh, in your vocabulary about body parts but uh you know this one is very important also to know in case you need to go to the doctor right or you're studying also then it's important to know to explain if you have any issues or any problems you know with your body so here we have the head okay in general so we have eye Okay, but this is singular. Okay, but you have the plural eyes. Ear. Okay, this is the ear. Okay, then we have to pull my ear. Nose. Okay, so here we have the nose. Then we have the mouth. Mouth. Then inside we have the tooth. One tooth. Plural teeth. Tooth. Then we have this part here, okay, here, that we call it chin, 
say the chin, the chin. Then this part where we use the watch is the wrist, okay, wrist. Then we have the arm, okay, all the arm complete. And then this corner here we call elbow, okay? Useful when we play soccer, right? You play soccer, you use the elbow. No. No, Fernando, do you play soccer? Sometimes. Sometimes. Like ne you never use the yes. elbow. Huh? No, I never. I never use the elbow. Fair play. Good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yes. Then you said, but some players, some players sometimes they use the elbow, right? This is very dangerous. But very hard. Good. Elbow. Throat. Okay. The throat. Okay, and then we have the neck. Okay, so we say on the neck. Okay, so we have uh, down here, foot, only one. Feet, plural, the two, happy feet. Remember the movie. And then you have uh, toes. Toe and toes. These are the toes. In the hand, we have fingers. But in the feet, we have toes. Okay, that's different. If you have a problem with your toes, it's your foot. If you have a problem with your fingers, it's your hand. Then you have the ankle. The ankle is this area where you put the, the like the wrist. Okay, in the hand is the wrist. And then here in the leg is the ankle. It's the one that is flexible. The knee. Okay, this area also where we bend. It's like the knee is similar, the ankle, I mean, the knee is similar to the elbow. Okay, is when you have the flexibility of your arm and the knee, you have the flexibility of the leg. And the, the leg is complete. Okay, all this part, we have two legs. Okay, two legs. Uh, well, the fingers, five fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Hand, complete, the finger and the palm, the palm of the hand. The thumb is only this finger. See that uh, in Facebook, you say thumbs up and thumbs down. Thumbs up, like. Thumbs down, don't like, okay? Stomach, this area. Okay, where we have the food, where we store the food, where we process, where we process the food. This is for the process, the factory. Chest. Uh, this is for men, chest, and for women is breast. Okay, breast. This is chest. Shoulder, this area. Shoulder. Back, well, it's the part that we have behind and that's it. Question? Do you know this word or they are new for you? Teacher, excuse me, I have a question, please. Uh, what is the pronunciation, stomach or stomach? Stomach. stomach. Okay, stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Yes, no stomach. Okay, teacher. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. When you say, for example, you say stomach ache. Okay. Have a stomach ache, like you have a headache. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank All you, right. teacher. All right. Okay, any other question? No problem with this vocabulary, pronunciation. Okay, remember, I will read it quickly. Head, eye, ear, nose. Mouth, tooth, teeth, chin. Wrist, arm, elbow, throat, neck, foot, feet, toe, toes, ankle, knee, leg, finger, finger, hand, or hands, the two hands, thumb, thumb, stomach, stomach, chest, shoulder, and back. Remember the like the in the video they say right here the best way. This is my head. 
then pointing to you and expressing this is my head then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words okay good so then this is the first example this is my head this is my nose this is my mouth this is my mustache okay, this is my mustache uh, this is my this is my ear or in plural these are my ears okay this is my chin these are my cheeks okay, these are my cheeks okay like g all right couple of years say these are my cheeks uh, this is these are my fingers these are my hands okay this is my throat this is my neck okay um this is my shoulder okay this is my shoulder okay for example say, oh my shoulder hurts uh, okay this is sometimes then we use this is my shoulder okay this is my arm okay this is my arm this is my elbow this is my wrist okay and then you can practice that vocabulary using this is this is this is and uh, until you know you remember okay you can see this is my elbow my foot my feet and that's it okay let me see how do you say mejia teacher chick ah, chick 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 um a minute Okay, to the chat. That's one, right? Chick. And two is chick. Okay. okay. What else? What else do we have? And the next one is uh, it says by the end of this class, we will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Okay, this is what I was telling you, right? For example, when you have a problem, for example, you say, uh, say, um, I have a, I have a headache, right? So I have, I have a headache. Then you use have plus a noun. Okay, let's do some practice. Tell me some things, for example, using I feel or I have with body parts that you have just studied, okay? Remember the vocabulary head, for example, uh, let's say that um, I have a pain in my throat. I have a pain in my shoulder, okay? Now think about other expressions, okay, that you can use. Think about sentence. For example, teacher, uh -huh. I I feel uh, I feel uh, uh, a lot hurt in my shoulders. Probably I I have a stress. Okay, so I feel a pain in my a shoulder. Pain Okay, a pain in, in my, my shoulder. shoulder. Okay, or you can also say, look, I uh, my shoulders hurt. Okay. My shoulders hurt or I have a pain in my shoulder, right? Okay. Maybe, maybe is the stress. Okay, okay yeah. Okay, teacher, it's thank very, you. It's probable, it's probable. Okay, what else? Another one. I have a pain in my stomach. Okay, very good. I have a pain in my stomach. Okay. Escriban ahí las que voy dando porque más adelante las vamos a dar. Puede ser, have a pain in my stomach or I have a stomach ache. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, there are uh, different words, let me write here in the chat. For example, words that you can use for, okay, here. Uh, ache, ache is dolor. Okay, pain, uh, sore, uh, hurt. Okay, uh, let me see what else. Uh, ache, pain, sore. Well, these are the ones that you can use right now, okay? But uh, remember that you have to say, for example, sore throat. Dolor de garganta, right? Sore throat. I have a sore throat. This is when we probably speak too much or probably when, I don't know, when we are sick, right? When we feel bad about something. What else? For example, teacher, mm -hmm. I can say my feet are weak. My feet are weight. Weight. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, my feet are. What is the next word that you use? My feet are. No, you can say my feet hurt. Okay, no, no, no. Yes. Oh, my feet hurt. Okay. Uh, my. Uh, I have a. Let's say, for example, I have a pain in my feet. Okay, but usually say my feet. Hurt, you know, like like you know, my feet are killing me. After walking too much, my feet are killing me. Right? Then you say my feet are killing me. Okay, but that's an expression. It's an expression that you can use, right? But you can say my feet hurt. Tengo dolor de pies, no pies, right? So that's different. What else? A backache. I have a backache. Okay, they say I have a backache. When do we get backaches? When do we get dolores de falta? For drive. Okay. A lot. When you drive, you, you can say, I drive a lot. Now mm -hmm. I have a backache. Okay. When you go to the doctor, if you go to the doctor, say, Doctor, I have a backache. Okay. And I think it's because. I drive a lot. I think it's because I drive all day. And then the doctor will say, no, 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 no that's not the problem. The problem is that you don't eat properly. <laughs> the problem is that sometimes we sit on our back. Right? Because we're going backwards. So that have, you have to be, you know, moving all the time. Okay, what else? I feel, I feel terrible. Okay, I feel bad. The opposite, I feel great. I feel well. Or you can say, for example, I feel, uh, let's say, uh, I feel uh, uh, probably a pain in my ear. I feel something in my ear. But you can also use something that we feel, right? Feeling that we have, okay? Uh, what else? Help me, help me. I feel happy, I feel tired. Hey, I like that one, the second one. The second one, I feel tired, okay? I feel sick, okay? I feel sick, okay? For example, that sometimes you have a headache, you, you have a runny, a runny nose, okay? Uh, how do you call this? Uh, runny nose. Uh, uh, how do you, I don't know. Okay, the, in Spanish, you say, uh, when you have a... Mucosera, teacher. Mucosera, maybe, right? Yeah, <laughs> mucosera, but I, there is another name I don't remember. Yeah. No quería usar mucosera. No quería sonar tan salvadoreño. Congestión nasal. Congestión. No. No, no. Yeah, but it's just yeah, something like that. Runny nose, right? Runny nose is como tenemos congestión, okay, in our nose. And then you feel like it's, you know, freaking all the time. Okay, what else? What else do we have? 
uh, for example, I I paint my fingers because I watch a lot a lot clothes. clothes. Okay. Then say my fingers hurt or I have a pain in my fingers because I wash a lot of clothes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Or then you say, for example, I feel I feel a uh, pain here in my fingers. Okay, so you see these are expressions using have and feel with body parts, okay, to express uh, something that is good or bad with our body, okay? So for example, sometimes in the morning we, we get up and we feel great. Okay, today I feel good, I feel energetic. Right? I feel uh, full of energy, but other days you, 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 you say, I feel bad, I feel um, awful, okay, awful is another expression that you can use, awful, okay, there, you see it in the chat, awful, uh, terrible, okay, I feel awful. Okay, I, you know, I have a lot of things going, I have a pain in my back, I have a pain in my knee, I feel depressed, okay, I feel, uh, I don't know, I feel weak, I, I am sick, okay? So these are expressions within those feelings. I feel blue, I think so, uh, that's it's down, right? I feel? I feel blue, I oh, feel blue. I feel blue is when you feel sad. Yes, you feel down, yes. huh? down, sad, blue. Yes, yeah, that's yes. true, right? That's another expression. That's those are uh, expressions said. But when you feel that, I don't know, probably, uh, I don't know, sad. Yes, probably depressed sometimes. Okay, and then you have to be careful with that. Okay, let me see. Have some expressions. This is a quick video. Um, Hi everyone. In class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. I feel better already. I, I remember Mr. The Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. So I feel better already. Okay, questions about vocabulary or expression? If you see here, it says headache. Backache, backache, okay, uh, headache. I feel a little homesick. Homesick is nostalgic, nostalgic. Okay, this is when we are in another country and we miss our family, right? Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun, feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun. 
a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally we need to put an adjective homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so you see this is something you know similar to what we were practicing before. But um, now the important thing here is to remember the vocabulary, right? And use it. So tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to practice sentences using have and feel with the body parts, okay? For example, uh, and then in the adjectives, right? Adjectives that make you feel, for example, like, you know, Fernando was saying, you can use others. Yes, Fernando, you told me about blue, right? Yes, uh, you can yes. say, okay. They can say, for example, I feel kind of blue. I will show you, for example, other words like kind of. Kind of is así como un, un poco. Okay, I feel kind of sick. Okay, un poco enfermo. Kind of. Eso no aparece acá, but it's good to know, right? Es bueno saberlo y cómo usarlo. I feel kind of blue. Un tanto triste, stone, right? I feel kind of happy. Un poco feliz. I feel very happy. Okay, intensifier. I feel really happy, I feel real great. Then you can use intensifier, how it gives intensity to the adjective. Okay, then remember the homework, dream in English, okay? And tomorrow, Friday, we have class, okay? No se les olvide conectarse mañana. Yes, teacher. Okay, same Thank you. time, okay, eight o'clock. Bye-bye, good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.